How's it guys? Justin here with Fish and Dive Hawaii. This is our very first episode on this channel where we talk about all things fishing and diving related here in the Aloha State. Today I'm giving you five reasons why I think if you're a beginner, uh, three prong is going to be much better than a spear gun. So stay tuned. So first let's talk about what a three prong actually is. The Holly name for it is a pole spear. So a spear with a pole connected to it and a rubber band on the back. You pull that rubber band back and you fire that. And that's a pole spear. So the three prong is actually the tip of the spear, which are three prongs. And what happens is when you shoot the fish and it penetrates, it'll open up and lock the fish in as it normally would a flopper on top of a spear gun. So a lot of locals like to use a three prong to look for a taco, look for a smaller reef fish, um, they go on caves and shoot those mempachis of veil veils inside of it. So there's a lot of uses for it, and which is part of the reason why I think you should start off with it if you're a beginner. So we'll go into reason number one, which is cost. So pricing and cost is something you're always going to want to consider with any purchase, especially when it comes to one of your main pieces of diving equipment. So what we're going to look at here is two different spear guns at different price points and compare them to their three prong counterparts. I want you guys to notice how much cheaper it is to start off with a three prong than it is a spear gun. So this would be like your entry level spear gun right here, a Cressy Comanche, actually the first spear gun that I purchased and it's going to cost you about $150. Now you'd notice here the size is a 90 centimeter. I can customize that. You want to get a minimum of 90 centimeters, but we can get into that in another video. So again, this is like your entry level, beginner level spear gun. So now let's look at your more expensive spear guns. So this is Aimrite America. You might have seen them in dive videos. A lot of pro guys use it on Instagram, YouTube, etc. So right off the bat, you can see just how much more expensive it is than the entry level spear gun. So $1,200, $1,100, a thousand dollars i mean i would rather buy a small car with that so again this is like your more expert level pro level spear gun so i'm going to say that the three prong counterpart to the aim right spear gun that i just showed you guys is the evolve usa three prong now these guys are based out of kona i actually seen these guys at an expo and i wish i purchased a three prong because this price tag right here was probably like a third of it so it would have been a steal for me but i dropped the ball on that i bought a fishing pole instead so just just based on the picture i mean i seen this in person and i was super impressed but you just look in this picture and you see what kind of quality that they're putting out to the public there's even like some kind of technology where a piston is inside of it so when you fire it the piston will actually drive into the fish more this is like your next level three prong and it's only 259 dollars that's a thousand dollars cheaper than the aim right spring that i just showed you and again this is like going to be like the most expensive three prong that you can purchase so now let's talk about your entry level three prong now you're actually gonna find this at your local walmart i have one right down the street so i went down here and i filmed some of this for you guys all you're gonna have to do is go to your sporting goods aisle wherever that is look for the fishing gear look for where the mask and snorkel stuff is and there should be a section dedicated for just free diving stuff now you notice that there's this yellow spear in the middle for only $35. You don't want to buy that one. I find a bunch of these on the bottom of the reef floor which tells me that they're junk quality. The other one that you're going to want to purchase is going to last a lot longer which is the graphite one. Now there's a $62 one which is a five footer. Personally I think that's for kids. It's not going to allow you to do as much things as you would with the seven footer one which is the one that I actually would recommend for $84. Now I know it's $22 more expensive than the five foot one, but you're gonna get way more value out of it because you'll shoot deeper into caves, you'll be able to do everything that you would with the five foot one, and you're just gonna get way more value out of it, and this thing's gonna last you a really long time. So again, this is like your entry level three prong. And compare it to your entry level spear gun, you just see the difference. It's like half the price of it. I mean, no doubt three prong is the way to go if you're just a beginner, as far as cost. Now we're going to look at reason number two, which is that it's easy to use. Now, if you start off with a spear gun over a three prong, there's a lot of extra things that you're going to have to learn. The learning curve is a lot harder with a spear gun than it is a three prong. You're going to have to deal with uh, bands, pulling the, the bands back. You're going to have to deal with the trigger mechanism. You're going to have to deal with the line, line tangling. 
the flopper getting stuck in reef, etc, etc. A three prong is so, so simple. I'll just show you right here. You take a look. So this is my personal three prong right here. What I'm going to do is show you how to load it. And all you need to do is get your pointer finger and your thumb like this, as you can see. Then you're going to pull this band all the way down to the front. Then you're going to have the band all the way stretched out, pointed at the target, and then release. As you can see, I don't have the three prong on it for obvious reasons. And that's how simple it is. That's it. Now when I say easy to use, I mean just generally easy. Sometimes I'll go to the beach with my family and just throw it in the back of my car. I don't need my wetsuit, I don't need my dive belt, any of that other stuff that comes with like a full on diving trip. I'll shoot a couple of reef fish and that's that. It's going to be easier to shoot than a spear gun. It's going to be easier to take with you than a spear gun. And because of that, you're going to actually be spear fishing more. You're going to be getting more practice more practice on your bottom time and just general extra extra practice with the three prop because it's so easy to use so now let's get into reason number three which is that you'll shoot more fish so because it's so easy to use and you'll be able to practice more you also don't have to deal with the nuances that come with the spear gun when you shoot the spear gun you have to reload it make sure the bands are wrapped good or the line is wrapped good make sure that your safety is off and you're pretty much going to be taking another extra drop and waiting another 5 to 10 minutes before you can even get down there to shoot another fish. With a 3 prong, you can shoot multiple fish in one drop. As you can see here, you don't have to come all the way to the surface just to reload the 3 prong. You can just pull the band back and try again. So now let's look at reason number 4 which is that it's safer to use. Now if you're starting off with a spear gun, there's a lot of extra things that can go wrong with a spear gun as opposed to a three prong. You're dealing with a gun that actually has a trigger mechanism and that's what you're counting on to hold the shaft in place as you're using the spear gun. Now I've heard stories in the past about other divers shooting each other or shooting each other's fins and stuff or barely missing each other with the spear gun because they accidentally tapped the trigger or that the trigger mechanism failed on them. When you're dealing with a three prong, all you really have to deal with is if you accidentally poke yourself with the with the tip of it <laughs> and that's really it when i first started diving i picked up a cressy as i mentioned in point number one the cressy had a metal wishbone instead of the other material that neoprene material whatever you want to call it and the metal wishbone i've actually heard of people cutting their fingers off and stuff because they don't know how to use it and as a beginner i didn't know how to use it either and it was super dangerous especially since i just wanted to jump in the water and and just shoot some fish i really was confused I didn't even know how to unload my gun afterwards, I was so scared of cutting my finger with the wishbone. Now I know that sounds super amateur, but I know there are other people out there that might be dealing with the same issues, and I would always err on the side of caution when it comes to that kind of stuff. So as far as safety goes, 3 prong is the best bet. So let's get to our last and final point, point number 5, and that is that the 3 prong is timeless. So when you're looking at a 3 prong and a spear gun, I can almost guarantee that the entry level 3 prong is actually going to outlast any kind of spear gun you get unless you have like lifetime warranty or something. The only thing that you're going to have to trade out as you go is probably the 3 prong tip. From my experience, the one at Walmart isn't the greatest one. It bends pretty quickly, but if you just buy an aftermarket one for $10, $15, $20, it'll last you way, way longer. This 3 prong I've actually purchased about a year ago. As you can see, it's rusting already but the rust is actually a good thing it gets better because it holds the fish longer but if you already own a spear gun then consider buying a three prong because it's going to last a really long time for you and if you're just a beginner the three prong is going to be a good it's going to be an awesome tool for you to build your arsenal around it i mean it's one of those staple things that you can't really change too much you see the new spear guns coming out with the roller guns etc etc it's going to get more advanced, but when it comes to the pole spear, it's always going to kind of be the same. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I tried to compress it as much as I could without taking away from some of the volume I'm trying to give you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you want to learn more about fishing, spear fishing. Also, some pro tips. I'm going to be starting some fishing vlogs just as soon as the waves go down and the weather clears up. But thanks for joining me again. And comment down below if there's something that I missed. If you disagree with me about the whole spear gun versus three prong thing, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Mahalo nui loa.